Okay, uh, good evening everyone. My name, Nile Miko, Rebel Father John Bosco is a he. My father had been for Kali Dash of Urumi. And I'm in the anchor of this program, enlightenment program. Uh, when we started a few weeks ago, we wanted to talk to people about this COVID 19 or coronavirus pandemic crisis when they happen for Nigeria, for the whole world. We will try to see how much our people know and try to ensure some people know the correct thing and also uh, find out whether they don't they address the matter for their own way by following the team government that they follow and uh, they uh, keep the regulation wash their hand and all those small things that they do. We don't start with the communities when they leave for Rome. We do for to prevent them from spreading from our community for Rome and for Eastern land. The group where we want to talk to today now be the Igbo community when they for Rome. We get representatives from the community, Igbo community, because there are people very special and respected people for Igbo community for Urumi that they will invite. When they come, we'll find out whether they understand and if they understand how they do them and if they don't have been aware, we will see tell them and if they are we will see praise them, we we'll see how they do. So the people when they here now, I want to begin to introduce them one by one. From my right here, my baby star, the Kene Udezwe. This one my went to my right. Thank you. Mr. Kene, you are welcome. The one who is down there, that Mrs. Agbai Mary Kijioma. Madam, you are welcome. The one went there, Mr. Le my left, that be Mr. Sylvester Odili. Okay, you are welcome, sir. The man who is down there, Mr. Odili, that be uh, Mr. Mbabu Eze. Okay, you are welcome. So, you are welcome to this our small talk. Many of them are not the one church all these days. I know how would they do this thing. Today, now, Igbo community is on. And we, as an important thing for our community, we don't need to say this kind of matter. We don't see find out how now they do it. Because if I don't know about this matter and they leave our community, if it happen and I don't know, nothing spread them. And if I don't know, maybe other people will get an africa So a good maybe say, we are too good, no? And now we're very careful as everybody is taking care of it. And before we continue, I just had to introduce you now, but I want to also know where each of you have come. So if anybody did when they know that will remember who will be, I want to know. I'll be giving you some like any days where uh, where you come from? I come from Anabra State. Where from Anabra? Upo. Upo. Nebu South Local Government. Okay, Nebu South Local Government. Welcome. And uh, which kind of work do you do for you? Where do you do business with you? The same medicine dealer. Okay, the same medicine. Yes. All right, I know your stuff for uh, one or two. Okay, so welcome. Uh, our sister, Agbai Mary Joma. Uh -huh. Where you come from, sister? Okay. I'm from Anambra State. Ah, but where about Anambra? Lewis South, local government. Very good. Uh, but married to Anisha. Ah, uh, you know, when, when I met you, I think I used to be you. Because they speak each other, where's the sound of the name? How are you, sir? Yes. Give me a little bit, what's the sound? Yes, that's how I can now. That's how I can. So, Bukia, welcome. So, and you, which work do you do? I just retired. Administrator of his school. Very good. Okay, more of a To my left, Mr. Sylvester Where you come from? I come from Anabra State. Anabra, 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 Anabra. Anyway, Anabra, for you. Which part of Anabra you come from? From uh Okay. 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 Which work do you do? Yes, which work do you do, sir? Most factors were passed. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Uh -huh. There is some bag, who is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Welcome. Where, where you come from? I'm from Limo State. Ah, thank God. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From Limo State. What part of Limo State you come from? Alu. Alu, okay. Yes. Alu, now look at government. No, Alu. Uh, Alu, uh, 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 Alu is the zone. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, I'm from Mdaba, local government. Oh, Mdaba. Mdaba. Mdaba, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm Limo State, man. And they go there sometimes. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 u
Edozo. Okay, welcome, welcome. Who is you work in Edozo? I'm a simple server. Ah, who is where you are working? I'm with Amabelo University. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, but we have a project here. Oh, for project, oh, you have a project in Uruguay. Yes. And now you, that's how you do Uruguay. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I don't hear them, they are uh, different from different places. Anabra, Anabra, Imbo. And then basically, I believe people will get around here. Us, yeah. Now, welcome to this our program. The thing we're talking about now be the coronavirus. What we're going to talk about since we're still talking about that. I will pray make you come up for our missing Jesus. Amen. I wonder what I even know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, right. You know what you yes, mean, Kelly? Uh, yes, right. I, I know you the seven is so you must know what you mean. Uh -huh. What you mean? Who will tell us? Who will tell us what you mean? It's not breakable. They look at me when they talk. Virus. Uh -huh. Virus where the the entire person body fit can feel within a within a social within two or three days. Uh -huh. But uh, government have, uh, government have told us how to prevent it. Right. Watch watching of hand. Uh, Avoid our face with too much mask. Okay. Avoid watch hand. That's it. Okay. Everybody know what it is. Uh, uh, so just distance. Uh -huh. But when I believe say the team, Harry. Say yes. you, you believe. You believe. I believe. Sister, you believe. Yes. Okay, you believe. I, I, I don't say, I don't to ask you. You ain't gonna I don't say you must know that they are in. Okay, the, the problem we will get with this thing here, many people will, will they ask, that this, this group now, now, that believes in you believe. Uh, what thing would God they do to, I don't say, many people they don't believe in you believe. I know, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, for the community people, they, for, for here, for Isha, with them, many people wouldn't believe in you. I do, I've yes. seen many of them. For you go, community, I think people wouldn't believe in uh -huh. Very good. I like to. What can I do to those people to what they don't believe in you? How do I tell you, talk to them? Can I talk to them? Yes. We educate them. We try uh -huh. to tell them the importance of uh, protecting themselves from the uh -huh. When others won't run, you're going to kill but there's no mercy. Yes. Yes, as a clown. Yes. If there are many years from many years from tomorrow, you can't have now. No, no message. Okay. Uh, those of them who are being treated is out of God's mercy. That is why they are. Absolutely. So that's just correct. Uh, that is, uh, so, so others who say they don't believe, now they tell them. We'll tell them. So when they don't say the thing that they say, and uh, that if you convince them, and then the measures where they, they take, you know, for the community, apart from so that they tell them, what or that, what thing are they do for Igbo community among them? So tell me, just say you don't spread. Yeah. You don't go. I, I just want what I want. Yeah. Uh, uh, when we had uh, the pandemic, really, so we took some uh, measures, like in uh, Igbo community. Yeah, we have various meetings. Okay. We have uh, Igbo union. We have uh, different uh, zona meetings to start with. Yes. So we suspended every time, but. Uh, Meeting that's a gathering together. That is nice it's because that's what the government, government said that they will abolish anything, uh, meeting, meeting, okay. church, and some other sort of thing. Yes, so that was the first measure we took. Yes, to suspend everything about meeting uh -huh. from Mohanes and Nibo down to village meetings. Okay, then we have been going about telling our, our people they should have sanitizer. Uh, if, if they can't wash regularly, they should have to have time. Okay. Like uh, in each uh, each uh, family or compound, they should have bucket with water and soap. Yes. Like which I did in my house. Very good. So then uh, they wear face mask. Okay. So we are educating our people. Though there are some doubting thermoses. Yes. Uh, but it's still our duty to persuade them to know that. Uh, the pandemic, I mean, the COVID-19 is real. Yes, that's very so that, right. So that's the pressure. Over. Okay, now, this, uh, this, our concern really here now, the doubting Thomases. These doubting Thomases, do they uh, carry out these uh, these uh, measures that you're just talking about in your in their houses? Now, if somebody is doubting, doesn't believe, they may not be carrying out those things in their houses. Now, I don't know if they do carry them out, and if they do not, how do you ensure that they carry these things out to your Yeah, uh, we are not going to force them, I know. No, we can't force them. <laughs> like uh, some of my social groups, yes. like uh, sometimes when we are standing together, they want to shake me. I said, No, very I, fine, I, yeah. I, I should, you should keep your hand. Yes. He said, Ah, okay, uh, that something must kill a man. 
That's the only way they are slow and something yes. must kill them. Uh -huh. I said, but I know if something kills me, it should be the one I know. Yes. It should be the one I don't know that will kill me. So, but since I know this particular one, so I should not shake you. Yes. So even gathering, sometimes if I'm with them, I decide myself. Yes. When we are maybe trying to share Nigeria affairs, one for two, problem or the other, mm -hmm. I will always draw my hand to yes. let them know that at least this is real. That's nice. That's very So good. then uh, my my compound, if you never know enter my my from the gate, we will go and wash your hand. Okay. Very good. So, in fact, even when I'm because if I was when we when we entering inside my compound together, I will start by washing my own hands. Very good. Well, if you don't wash, don't enter my house. Very good. So you may rotatively wash. Yes. But I know from there, you is getting to that this this man not. Uh, uh, I'm not joking. Yes, yes. So, that's so that's the measures we are. That's I know good. they will not, but uh, we are gradually start to let them know this is what is. Okay. okay. So, by the time somebody comes to your house today, we will go and wash your hand. It was yes. next time uh, I will not tell him again. You go and do it by himself. Yes. yes. Uh, is that is always experience with women, even women, fellow women. My experience is that some of them don't really believe that this uh, COVID-19 exists. Uh -huh. But we try to educate them. Uh -huh. Because some of them, like, uh, in fact, one of my very close person, yes. each time we talk about this uh, pandemic, we always say that uh, uh, it doesn't exist. Where are the people that are sick of these diseases? Uh -huh. I say this disease has kids so many people, a lot of people all over the world. You don't need this disease to kill you before you know it exists. So we try to educate them. Even uh, this very person, herself and the husband, they don't believe it exists. But I now told them, now that the government stop you from going to the market, social gathering and other things, at least you should be able to agree that these things exist. Just that we are, just, we are lucky that we didn't or call here as he started uh, in China, places. in yes. other places. Yes. So we should try to comply and uh, take the measures. And by the grace of God, everything will be okay. Because for now, there's no vaccine. Mm -hmm. There's no vaccine yes. to this pandemic. That's true. It's the precautions and the, this, uh, the little treatment that God is helping them, that they are able to treat people. So how, how do you, how do you uh, try to prevent it from the home? In my own home, I try as much as possible to do the hand washing. So you have the bucket of water in the Yes. So when visitors come, do they, they will wash them? hands. I even have my sanitizer right. here. Okay. Anybody coming in, I will bring out my own sanitizer. I will give them, they will wash their hands and sanitize their hands. Because if the person may tell you, uh, I washed hand before coming, I use sanitizer. I said, but before you came here, you touched the wall. Yes. You touched the door and the uh, handle. Oh, yes. And so many other places. So you have to wash again. Okay. So we take these measures and uh, keep our children indoors. And uh, if, you, if there's cause for you to go out, you distance yourself from crowded uh, places. Okay, now, uh, the, you know, there's one other area that a lot of people don't pay attention to, that is cleaning. Now, when yes. people visit you, they wash yes. their hands, yes. they use those and all that Yes, and so, every morning I make sure we mop the floor with a uh, uh, hypo. Yes, hypo. And other... Uh, but, but, but when they leave, when they leave, anybody, when anybody leaves your house, there will be the need, anybody, once someone comes to your house, I will sit here that once the person is done, it's good for you to put it in the chair and everything. So that's one thing that you need to do in all families, in all our families. When we have visitors, they come in and they are gone. We should quickly clean the chairs, their wood chairs, their plastic chairs, even their cushion chairs, quickly do those with uh, your, your hand goes on and high pull and all that, clean the whole place and this is the place. That a lot of people do not take note of, but it's very, very important these days because you don't know who spread it. Okay, my brother, you are a businessman in your store. You know, there have been this partial of the problem. You are you're always essential. Yes. You yes, have always been opening yes, stores. Yes, 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 yes. What precautions do you take? Those of you who have the uh, privilege to be opening stores and selling uh, because of your kind of trade? Uh, for me, in my store, I have, I think, I have hand sanitizer. Yes. Uh, as if you guys are wearing a mouse. Yes. And I have to use your pockets of water outside with the uh, body fresh. 
before you enter Mount you must wash your hand. Yes. Yeah? Wash your hand. And that's the case of Sonata. I use Sonata. And Sonata has to wash your hand. I have everything mask on. All my chest guys are always wearing those masks. Okay. Yeah. So, once they, once they want to enter Mount you must wash your hand outside. Before they enter Mount Now, sometimes they, they always wash their hand outside the outside what they say. When they say go and wash their hand before they shop. It's a good thing that you, you sell uh, medicine. So we call you chemist here. Yeah. Yes, that's yes, also you here. Yeah. It's a good thing that we're having you. Some persons who have these uh, symptoms of the virus, they may not come, you know, to buy drugs. You know, even with that being diagnosed, all guys are knowing it, but they have those now. So when you notice such persons, what do you do? Someone comes to your place, right? Those sneezing and sneezing and coughing. They want to come and buy it because. Your place is definitely a, 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 a point of call. It's definitely come to you. Yes. So, what do you do to such places? Uh, first of all, I will ask, I will ask the question. Uh, if the person may say you just got that attack uh, or cough, or well, serious disease, they say you want to buy catam medicine. To me, I I I won't advise the person. First of all, I give it, I give that person that catam medicine. I will yes. advise him to go to the hospital to Very examine good. himself. Very good. Himself. Very to make sure it's free. Very good. You are self free for the Okay, you. very nice. Yes. And uh, disinfecting your your store, you know, the exception area of your store. You know what? I know your store. People don't enter inside. They, 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 they so stay somewhere else. Yes, yes. They also disinfect that place very good because someone who has it and comes to buy drugs, or some person who feels somehow, the symptoms are not very clear. When they get to your store, if they touch anything and touch those places, they will, they will be infected. So you someone like you have to always in the clean the place. You know, we thought this is a chemical happen and that's so this is the sanitizers, those things in place. That one is very, very important. Uh, Oga, you they, they sell uh spare parts. For example spare parts. Uh, you they get people when they come there well well like that. Okay, you have to close now. Okay. So it affects your business. Even till now, you are still locked down. Wow. So how have you been faring? So a lot of people, Igbos here now, you know, will be having this problem. Very many. Yes, very yes, so so many. Not say, uh, not say. Especially uh, those people who are along the line, who are the road. Those inside the market. Inside the market. Those who have caravans inside the market. Those who have caravans inside the market. Yes. For the past two months, you know. So how do they see Nurubi all? Yes, they are. Do they go to a farm? They are living on the path of God's mercy. Oh, really? So how do, how do they feed? I don't know. I don't know. So even when the government says that uh, there should be partial law that some people should be open, recently they said that you can open partially. Uh, even now, even today, as I'm telling you now, people there are still the task of people now are still observing people. They didn't hear, they didn't hear, they don't hear. I don't know whether they hear. They don't, they don't. They have to take all the amount. They don't want to. As I'm talking about, the amount of it is, is the market still closed? Yes. Market yes. still closed. Yes. Uh, so they, they are still in primary school? No, where, no. Where they, they are they are they are they are along the Afoda Stroke or Yomo Road. Those are the roads. Yes. But if you ask me, what is the sense of even what is the sense of, of crowding them you know, they, crowding they, they, them together? Crowding them together. You know, and we have been talking about this. Is that they don't understand or they don't hear all of this? So why are there so much concern about the opening? So no why these this women are crowded in within a particular yeah. area yeah. or uh, and for the roads. So uh, this in fact is that sometimes yeah. even if you are key, a bunch of kids can't even bend down to, to pick it because of the crowding nature of the so so what yeah. I don't know. Area. So they are not maintaining social distancing. Uh, yeah. The only the only concern is the don't open store. Yeah. Don't do this. Uh, all concern. those newly built stores and uh, I don't know. I don't know the much. So when they were doing this palliative to some people, people didn't get anything at all. No. No rice. No, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's only the foreign nagas who are even using the 
they will tell you they want to pay him pay to assist them. She will send her card number. That was my yearning every day. Yes. Uh, so, but the uh, fiscal palliative measures, like send all those uh, food stuff, you know. So, the former one has uh, uh, adjusted the house. This is very serious. Uh, this is serious. Could you imagine uh, families over 20 months now, they have food stuff. It's a, it's, a, it's a terrible trend. Yeah. I understand too that uh, many people went into business, other kind of business they don't do before. Is that from your community? And uh, when they said only essential duties and services can operate. And some persons, because like your store now, you sell uh, spare parts, you don't, do, you don't open, and other people, they said many people are not selling food so they can. Uh, they can uh, yeah, yeah, they can yeah, drink. So yes. that was also happened to them. Uh, yes. Yeah. That, that was to help. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
or, or you don't even know how to, you know, you don't even know if they, if they have it. I don't know if they have it because I don't have any, <laughs> any I, I have not, I have not been supposed to press like press it before. So someone may cut it now or use it. Okay. So you cannot decide, say, maybe it's a, we only advise the person to go to the hospital for check-up. Okay, to well, confirm. when I said there are places where they test, you know, in the uh, Edo State, I, I don't know, last time we had uh, those people from Baltimore here, the head of the COVID-19 team, Dr. Akhidido was here, we had it in this program, and uh, he assured us that Edo State was going to have uh, the different areas where they test persons across the state, and they're going to have uh, a, a place in Ulumi. Have you heard of any place like that you wouldn't be yet? Suppose there is a place where they are carrying out tests and they ask you to come for tests. Would you be willing to go? Yes, I would go. 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 Somebody is having something. The reason why I'm asking is that a lot of people are scared. I want to know that diagnosing someone with uh, COVID-19 is not uh, a death sentence. Mm -hmm. It is good if those who have it, they know, and then um, they get treated. Or they take at least treatment for the uh, symptoms. That's why we don't know about symptoms. Okay. Now, we we'll talk about uh, the treatment and vaccine. I know you are Igbo. Yeah, you have heard about Agbo and all those stuff. Agbo. Apart from the the medicine that you sell, you know, those, uh, you go medicine over there. Do you have any Igbo medicine for treatment, sickness like this? Like somebody having cough, kata, cold, or do you have other symptoms? Do you have any Igbo medicine? Like here, we do Agbona, we do Agbo, we do all those uh, Igbo, so the people take all those uh, Lyama, a lot of people take all those uh, native concussion. Do you have things like that in your community? You know, you know, in fact, in those days, when I was young, yes. We, we had to go to hospital. You know, there's uh, when you, you are having malaria, even that, and they call it uh, EBA. Or uh, even this um, type of soak, uh, 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 this um, uh, EBA, what you know? Yellow fever. Yellow fever. Yes. So there's one who have yellow fever. So they would go to backyard, carry so many leaves, mango leaves. Or in some concussion, you know, yeah. they will boil it. Oh, when I boil yeah. it, they just carry the child. In fact, uh, you, you know, put small stool, mm -hmm. then cover it with the with blanket. Some of the some will be steering the yeah. pot. Yes, that to hot that to hot pot. You see, so by the time the, the person inhale all those uh, hot steam, you see, in fact, you make sure that you you, you, you must do that today. Uh, because of uh, this, uh, the way people live their life these days, I don't think any person can take that risk again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, because uh, in fact, the river, if the person is there, slumps, they, uh, they will accuse you of killing. That's true. Somebody is sick. He's going to be there. I don't want to go. They will be sure that you, people are not doing all this kind of stuff. If somebody is sick, it's better to go to the doctor. Yes, yes. Yes. You know, no, get tested and get treated. You know, the one the, I'm using, Father. Yes. Since uh, the COVID-19, yes, you know this uh, lemon water, yes, it's alkaline water. So I have been using it alone. I have been using lemon, even if it costs one five hundred naira, I used to buy. So when they said this COVID-19, that uh, somebody mentioned lemon, that you boil it and remove the water, you boil it with the uh, skin. You just wash them, slice them inside a kettle. Every morning you boil them. You, uh, after boiling, you remove the water. If you drink it, it's so bitter, but it's alkaline water. Then I, before I used to use it alone. So when this COVID started, I started to give the children. And then the, maybe the lemon will spend like two weeks inside the kettle. You remove that one. Then I'm. But all that is private medication. You know, that's yes, right. and, uh, it's, <laughs> so, usually, for but when anyone in the family has any symptoms or any ailments, mm -hmm. it will be good. Always, always good to yes, refer the person to the doctor and then uh, you know go, go for treatment. People do some of this local uh, herbal uh, mixture that they take just to build their immunity. But if you ever go down with any sickness, 
the best thing is to, so, to go to the hospital. Yeah. You know this COVID-19, so many people are born with so many concussions. Yes. Some people are even right now, they say Peter Kula. They say you lemon, uh, juice, so many things. Uh -huh. So, and uh, someone has to be very careful. There are different things from so, so, so many concussions are uh, on now. Uh, recently I wrote, uh, I read about it, Peter Kula, then ginger, garlic, and uh, lime, lemons, so many things. So, well, if somebody is in the zone, uh, maybe um, privately, as uh, maybe one problem. Uh, but uh, to me, I don't know if somebody uh, has a. Uh, and some of them, uh, we may abuse the usage of those things. Yes. We may abuse the dead to even work against our immune system. Okay. So, the best is somebody to go to hospital. It just, in fact, leave your immune system intact. Yes. Now, if you are affected with such a thing, you go to hospital. And, and uh, you respond quickly. Okay. Then I try to narrow the immune system down. Then they're going to have problems in the course of treatment. Thank you very so much. The, 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 I don't have anyone to ask. Are, what are, are there problems, specific problems that people in your community have had because of this uh, Ebola virus uh, pandemic? Apart from this problem of the closure of shops, and that's a big one. Are there other problems? Like, for instance, I know that uh, some people have problems with their children going to school, they don't go to school anymore. You, have, you also have that problem in your community? No, even before the war, now. Did this go, virus? No. Your children don't go to school. You know, now the schools are closed. Yes. So. Is that a big problem in your community? It's a, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Schools are closed. It's a problem. Yeah. So. so but are, are, are the children in your community doing online education, online schooling? Yeah. Well, some people in certain communities yeah, are so, uh, like uh, uh, like a federal technical room now, which yes. I, know, I have a child there. Yes. So I was even asked one of the one of the uh, teachers that the uh, and some of them are applying uh, this online uh, lecture. Yes. So he told me that uh, they are not doing military schools. Okay. So even that was the time the it was state uh, government. The amount that uh, as a stress to the two at home now, they will do uh, online lecture for them. So they give time and some other things. But uh, I see it as a, as a problem because uh, uh, how many times do we have for life in a day? Okay. So those students, their parents don't have one time for a generator. Uh, even they have a young can they feel it? So people like uh, there are some families now that. They are, the whole of their source of anything from the market and it's closed down. Yes. So when you battle, when you are battling to feed those children, you, you have the way someone to go and buy fuel and put the uh, the generator yes. to for their child to to go for let, uh, lecture. And even the they said the, uh, the program is in EBS. Okay. Uh, which is not a EBS, not even. The reception here is very poor. It's not available here. Not even available it's here. Available here. So that's why I assume that they put it in uh, like AIT, that the artists in GST and some other stuff. But even the families, how many of them are using, uh, I mean, uh, this um, GST, uh, GSTV? You see? So it's a problem. Okay. And, and what about those who use telephone, they do online studies via WhatsApp? Yeah, or, uh, some then, 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 uh, then they will. The body is on the parents again, buying, buying data for Android them. phone, oh, Android phone, Android phone Android buying data. Yeah, and then do parents even know how to operate this? That's, that's it. It. And even the, even the children uh, can you control them. So that is that is that, uh, that the problem because uh, because uh, when the even when they're in the school, the combination of the parents and the teachers find it difficult to control them. When the whole not nice on the parents, and some of the parents are not, some of the parents are not educated. Uh -huh. So you find that uh, it's not easy. So what what are, what are the suggestions you are, you are bringing forth for for this situation? I mean, I know those who are in charge are watching us as well. Yes. So what, what do you suggest? Because for me, we have had different groups here coming here, and this is about the problems that they have enumerated about children not going to school, uh, considering users at all. Some some take their children to the farm, but I, even though where some have said it's okay. But some still believe that that's not the best. Because if you come to a time when uh, some of those children, the parents would never want to go to school again. You know, they want to, to go to the farm. Uh, so, 
what suggestion you have? Because this is a big problem for everybody. For the education, this education. Because you cannot say open schools now. No, no, no. Because uh, the, the virus will spread through the children and very easily until we have uh, that way of uh, coping the people among them. So, what are the suggestions that you want to give? And educating children is very important. So, how do we get to educate our children? So, we're just trying to think. What do you think we can do about children at their school? You have children now? Yes, yes. Are they going to school? So what do you think about children? You leave them at home? Yeah, they are with, home. With they are doing online. Yes. They are doing yeah. online. They are doing online. So, so, okay. So, okay. So, it's good. It's online. It's online. Yeah. So it's happening with the online students? Yeah, my, they're using my phone. Your phone? Yeah. Uh, your, your wife is uh, educated? No. Uh, so who is helping? Then they teach. You know, those who they teach, they need to teach. They video them. All the video that they send the video on WhatsApp. Interrupt the video, then the students can watch. How long the video? How long the video from myself? Five minutes, five minutes, five. I've seen some of those clips. So it's not five, a minute, two minutes. So is that what they will find themselves with? No. I don't. To me, to me, I don't abide by that. I employ a teacher. Okay. To teach my children at home, I do what was. To be sure that that teacher. It's also very heavy. It's very much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you watch your hand. Wear your best mask. Uh -huh. yes. So that one is that one is very important. Yes. But now by your own home, how do you how do the children with education? Like you are a retired uh, headmistress. Yes. So you should be very interested in this matter. So what are you going to have to tell us about this one? Like uh, my little grandchildren, they teach them online. Then we also have a teacher for them that comes to they are just KG. Children. Yes. Then the girl that stays with us, they send her, uh, send her questions online. Okay. From Okuje Primary School. All right. Okay, online. Yes. That's, uh, the teacher, the man that spoke to you just now, uh, is the class teacher to the girl that stays with us. Ah, okay. So he sent me uh, the there are all the teachers in Primary Five. I think there are about uh, five classes of Primary Five. Yes. And they take different subjects. Yes. So all the they are teaching each day they send to me then at my company I will call the them. I will bring them out. So so your children are lucky. <laughs> but the other guy is at our lady of loss. No nothing has uh, we have not had anything from them. So she's just there. She's she just there. I hope she doesn't forget about her books. She's so really as, as the mother now, what do you do? You are uh, she's uh, encouraging to read. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, what about your home? You have children who go to school? I'm not here, I'm not here. I'm not here. Any child you just get to go. So it's uh, just you and your wife. So you don't have any child go to school anymore. But, but don't go to, don't go to work. Are you not bored? Uh, you know, you don't tire for her, so you don't tire, don't they go anywhere again. Those of now when they go market, we don't go market again. Uh, I just have a house and I'm day break, break, night reach, day break. Now they tire. What are we going to do? Uh, I'm asking you, what do they do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they themselves. Uh, well, sometimes you throw out, uh, uh -huh. throw out, when you throw out, throw out, and come back. Okay. Now, now, about, we don't talk about wash of hands. We talk about uh, social distancing. What is it? Now, what about the wearing of uh, face masks? No, that one is compulsory. Okay. So, in, in your community, Igbo you community, do they wear face masks? Yes. Yeah, so everybody wearing it. Some of them wear, not all of them. Not all of them wear. Not everybody wear. Why? Sometimes you see some people, they make sure they have like, they only ask for the face mask. And you just open the same amount. Just to show them they get it. <laughs> Do they even know the reason why they say you wear face masks? They don't even know. That's uh, that is what we are saying. So you need to educate them. But uh, when they, I don't know why they wear face masks. Uh, yeah, yes. we, I wear. And you know, this face mask, working. some people normally are used it. You say you should wear face mask when you, are, when you, uh, you suspect that your face is going to scrub it. But if you're on your own, there's no need to face mask. Or if like if you're in the vehicle and you are driving, there's no need for face mask. Because we are when we wear this face mask for a long time, it can even uh, suffer from suffocation. 
So it's uh, probably when we are as well, uh, when we are if we want to talk to somebody, or when at least if you can keep the distance of two meters, okay, you can wear face mask. Because the sense of you say maybe if there is any saliva dropping from you, at least yes. at least the distance of two meters, you can you can touch you can touch the other person. So but the fact that and this mask like disposable ones, go to wear only once a day, except those ones that are shown by tellers. Which means that you have to watch it at the end of the day. An iron. Yeah, an iron, possible. But how many all these market women and more? How many? Yeah, some of them say they. they but do you wear face mask at home? No, uh, I don't think it's, uh, uh, to me, it's not necessary. <laughs> it's not necessary. I didn't social distancing. Uh, 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 Somebody was asking me, asking here whether. For house, because it's social distance. Uh, uh, no, uh, because if somebody has resisted the children that in my house, till they came back, and now they don't go out. Okay. So there are no need. There. So far, most of the, I provide most of the things that you don't want them going out. But I'm, uh, I, I'm uh, one way to other. I try to avoid certain going to certain areas. But those children, when they you know something that can be by such condition, they like to meet their, uh, their friends. So, if we have somebody. Now we'll come to that one. Let me quickly look to people where they watch us. Many people will be here. Okay, we have uh, Joseph. Joseph Amo Igwari. He said, Igbo Kwenu. So, now welcome. Thank then, uh, Joseph Igwari is there. Then we have uh, Kalisto Siaga. And I remember that today, I'm out here, my friend. When Don Sibaisa is there. Uh, Ondo Innocent, we have... Uh, Fidela, look, Fidela, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Fidela, okay, my house is great. I want to say thank you very much in Fidela, watching. Emmanuel Hens is one of the teachers who made this to Thank you for watching, Emmanuel Hens. And then, uh, Paulo again, thank you very much. There are people who have been together that watch. Other people in the background who are going to meet him. Okay, yes, fine. Now, talking about children at home, unlike those universities, we had them here. Some persons from different universities. We have two from AAU, one from UDM, one from uh, this uh, PTF Wally, and other university, one from the government. We also try to find out from them how so they, they are going to, so they are, they are tired actually. Yes, they are tired. Uh, so how are you going to control the ones you don't Because ordinarily speaking, when they're at home, we don't go out to you. Do you have problem people to control them? Because they, they want to visit one another. So what yes. do you in your community, what do you do when you want to visit one another? Yes, uh, when they came initially, they invited uh, my children, some of their friends who are coming. Yes. So one day I called one of the boys and said, Do you know why schools close every time? He said, Yeah, I said, Why? Because of this COVID 19 pandemic. That's okay. I said, Thank God that you are aware why the schools close. So now, if the schools close because of this problem, your parents told you to, to go go, and then you, you start you start to uh, you started to make difference as your goals. So what's the sense of uh, leaving the school? You shall have stayed in the school. So to me, don't come here. Yes, I'm not that way. You have been coming here before. I'm not that way. So let us every person stay at home. Because even my children, you are visiting. You don't know their their health status. So now that you don't know. Home. So don't be offended, stay in your house okay. until this problem is over. So this is how I stayed most of them uh, away the from the uh, yeah. years for, for uh, Okay, year. very good. Uh, the reason why we are doing all this is to be able to make our people, we are not saying government should just open up everywhere no. because that will not help anybody. Yeah. But it's good for the people to know the reason why the government is asking us to have some lockdown and stay at home. If you are not uh, wanted anywhere, there is no need to go. I see a lot of people in the, in the streets, you know, marketplace everywhere, just roaming about doing nothing. Some people drinking, uh, even some uh, people carrying chairs and drinking outside. And drinking outside, they are not needed. There's there. sense, sense of uh, uh, so, but all this was done so at home. If you stay at home, you stay out of trouble. You see this coronavirus that they say it's around, it doesn't take itself. It's people that carry it. People move it around. It doesn't only so move to people. No. So we have to be very careful. Uh, especially when uh, uh, we don't have anything going on. Let us stay for the people. These days. We don't have anything. Even when are going. And this thing has come to stay home, we will better learn 
to keep the social distance, wash your hands. You have been here for a long time. And to be able to develop uh, vaccine. yes, yeah. vaccines and uh, antibodies and all oh, okay. uh, uh, yes, uh, we are able to uh, develop that resistance to it. Otherwise, it's going to be here for a very long time. Now we have spent so, so much time, and uh, uh, before we, we leave this place, each person who wants to say something, or do want to say something, you want to say about this virus, or talk to people, talk to government, address your community, help around each person who is so they will know that you know uh, uh, you are aware and as a member of their community, in the community, you are presenting them. Even this government don't talk to them, still want to go to the government. This is an opportunity. We don't get all of the time to talk because everybody is watching us. Yeah. And whoever sees us, you know, we hear what I'm saying. We cannot make any engagement with the government. We are just also something to give us from the government. And then to see how people can live. Uh, within these tough times uh, and still obey regulations and still be happy and live well and know what they're supposed to know and do as well. So that's the rest of this our small program where it's our own conclusion to the efforts of government and efforts of the Catholic Church and all the churches. These are our own small conclusion of this part of the world towards what uh, everybody should do. So we'll begin with this sister. Does anything want to say? Any advice? Or to the government, you don't move like this, you, you can uh, not be uh, and uh, So what do you have to say, sister? So... Yes. So, the coronavirus is real. We should try to abide by the... take the precautions by washing our hands always wearing our face masks, keeping social distance, staying at home most especially. If you have cause to go out, don't go to crowded places and help to educate those who still doubt the existence of this and that. I just want to the women, 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 Go push up right your joy. Ndedi ne siri na nori e mo kaham chukumi he kaham zui kenan dopa. Amen. Ai na yo go nyo bona na kwa ka ofuma o go bona o go bona kwa ka ofuma. Wore sanitizer o wa iya mama e wo putera na kwa sanitizer wore te na ka o wa ebi neje ebi norma e susu norma. Jesus. For big government uh, order to lock down, stay social distance, always, always uh, keep out of a uh, crowded place, always watch your hand, do everything necessary to avoid to, to make sure you are praying what government is teaching us. With this, I believe this sickness will wipe away by God's grace, and I believe so. In in a, in a, in a, in a, in a sooner, the sickness will wipe away in Nigeria. Amen. Um, prevention is better than treatment. So the first thing we do is to follow the instructions. Mark that by the government and try to avoid this. The problem people are having, the government needs to help people. Because people are suffering. And there will not come the wrong happy case. That's really what the government needs to do. Because I think. Like uh, in places like us from people in overseas, that the Red Cross is taking care of uh, some people over here, and that uh, uh, food, hunger is not a problem. But to hear that, you see a lot of people suffering. There are people there some families. If they don't go to the market, help with this uh, pure water, they cannot eat. 
there are some people who don't go to school to buy uh, some pumpkin leaves, sell the market, they cannot feed. So, but these people now have been, uh, have been, very many people have been thrown off for the, uh, for the market they are, they, are, they are selling. How can they reconcile feeding? Because this, in this area, where people now disobey, but if they are government is helping people financially, I think uh, if, they, if they say we should uh, uh, be on lockdown for a year, we can do that. So my advice is that government should do something like we have before. Do you know, that is that. What is I think it was the main people. Uh, the people uh, to send uh, this is a general advice. No, you're right with the people. Okay. Uh, it's a good but uh, I have a mother. 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 I have a Oh, yeah, no, 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 in my own contribution, I have to say that uh, uh, coronavirus is real. Uh, and uh, I will advise people to stop self-medication. In the sense of uh, doing all sorts of concussions, chloroquine, uh, astromacine, and some other something to prevent uh, uh, coronavirus. I see it is an as un uncalled for. So, if any person has symptoms or signs, to do some of uh, COVID-19 or is suspect, you will follow the National Center for Disease Control or protocols, reporting yourself to the hospital for appropriate uh, diagnosis and uh, uh, treatment. Uh, my, oh, another one is um, palliative, that is a uh, government claim to uh, is a uh, I don't think that the system is effective. Uh, some people have never received a dime from government. What makes what makes people to disobey from uh, government protocols is hunger. Because uh, some, I, I can hide for some people. They say that prefer the die of uh, coronavirus than die of uh, uh, hunger hunger virus. So if so, if the palliative is evenly distributed. I don't think if somebody had the cost to uh, endanger his life. So government should do something tangible so that the, the less good ones will have something to lay their hands on their own contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, we thank all of you for coming. Uh, we have more persons who are watching. We have Gabriel Ali Begu. Begu. We have Ola Dimeji Balogo and we have Brian Omo. Thank you very much. These are the best we have. We have a lot of people on the other channels. Uh, we thank you our people for coming. Once again, we thank all of you who have come, uh, who are watching us, who have taken our time from the business schedule to watch us. These are representatives of the Igbo community in Uruguay. We try to invite them today to find out how much they know of coronavirus and what they are doing in their community to ensure that it's not spread in their community. And they are here. We thank God for them, for the knowledge that they have of it. And we pray and hope that in this little uh, we have discussed and shared today, when they get back, we will be able to enforce uh, some of the advice we are giving to them. We will be able to see how they can better make their people prevent the spread of the virus. Right? We don't even want it in our little home that we need to So let everyone stay at home. And if you are not needed anywhere, and it's not important that you need to go, but because if you go and you get the virus, you will come and spread it. So don't go, should not get it, should not come back spreading it. Once again, I thank you for coming. 
I thank you, uh, Mr. Ekere. I thank you, Mr. Odili. I thank you, Mr. Isaac. I thank you for coming. And I ask God to bless you and protect you. We will ask you to go back to your community, to your good people. I ask that uh, the Lord will do with all of you through Christ our Lord. Yeah. 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 Yeah.